And so what we're trying to do in this paper is talk about what has to happen. And Ed will, you know, fill in the meat on the grounds. But we talk about how America must increase its competitiveness. And we always talk in America how can, you know, competition is good. But we've got to realize that we've got to compete if competition is going to be good, and we can't allow others to outcompete us. And when you look at, in regards to uh, schools, you know, one of the first things that I did when I became a member of Congress, I wanted a NASA program called um, uh, SEMA, Science, Engineering, Mathematics, and Aeronautics Academy. One of the first things we did after I was in Congress was cut the funding. We need, and what the paper talks about, we need to go even further than that. We need charter high schools specifically dealing with science, engineering, and mathematics so that we can compete. You know, they talk about once upon a time we had more scientists in China. That has now reversed. The report talks about why we need to make sure that we are competitive. We need to ease also and recognize that there are anxieties out there. That we do need a new social compact. That we need to have a thriving TAA that people can know that they're tomorrow with. That we've got to think of new ideas. For example, floating health care. <coughs> so that you can move from place to place and not be threatened with losing your job with your health insurance. You know, we've got to think of new ways of moving around things. The idea of dealing with today's world that we now live in. We need to modernize our institution to reform uh, and increase funding for consumer safety inspections. Those things we need to do so that the people will listen to what we're saying. Lastly, you know, we have to also think of trade. You know, I, it would be a lot easier. And I know a lot of, I got reporters that are calling me and I'm going to have to hear what's going to happen with Columbia and I think we need to get Columbia done. And I'm hoping that we can, you know, it's a great thing if you look at President Uribe and the Doha in Columbia. But it's also a broad thing if we talk about the Doha round and we start talking about trade in multilateral situations as opposed to just the bilateral situations. We're able to then get a lot further, a lot quicker. And in, in those discussions, if we just don't forget about it, the poor. And we can remember the poor by removing tariffs and quota limits on goods from the least developed countries. We can abolish tariffs on goods not produced in the United States, like shoes and clothes and luggage. This will help these developing nations. And we can reform the Farm Bill. Ron Kine has been working real hard on this in Congress to make sure that if we do pass a farm bill, it's a farm bill that helps the small farmer and not the huge farms that really don't need that kind of help. And it causes the Doha round of negotiations to begin to break down. So there's things that we can do to change how people are looking at us and the agenda so that we can remain, because the key here is to remain competitive. I come from New York, I close on this. I was visiting London recently. Let me tell you, London would love to be the number one spot for services and financial institutions. They want to compete with us. They would love for us to not focus on how we can remain on top. But if we do that, we lose so many jobs and we lose the jobs that will be created tomorrow. And those are high paying jobs. And so what our focus should be on is being competitive for trade and regulations with these other nations. And then to begin that, to be sure that we are educating our young people so that they are able to take the jobs that are being created and then make sure that we don't get so caught up with closing our borders that we have an immigration policy that doesn't allow the brightest and the best to either come here to teach 
and or to come here to study and to learn. Because if we do that, I think that we are going to lose <coughs> if our borders are closed. We win when we open our borders and we bring people in and they learn our way of life and then they go back to their countries and or stay here, become citizens and contrib contributors to our society. Right. 